Right guys, welcome back. It's Thursday again and we're gonna do another 10 minute build. <laughs> hope you've had a good week so far and I uh, hope you enjoyed those last five characters that I did. I'm gonna let the rigging uh, rest for a little bit. Well, saying that, I'm actually doing a Rigify to Unity tutorial now. I'll be releasing that uh, quite soon. There's some, uh, some quirky things that you need to take care of before you get it to work properly in Unity. Right guys, it's not gonna be as lengthy as it was last week, but we're still gonna have a lot of fun. So uh, this week I'm gonna try to attempt I'm not going to try to attempt. I'm going to attempt to model a little like section of a house or a flat or apartment or whatever you call it. So I'm going to build something with some furniture in it, maybe a, a kitchen or a, a, a toilet or something. Uh, just like the essentials, I guess, for uh, what you'd find in a household. I'll probably miss a bunch of things, but I'll do my best. Uh, Ten minutes, again, not a lot of time. Oh, well, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll talk after. I'll just do it first, shall I? So let's get ready. Ten minute on the clock. Yeah. Wish me luck, guys. Go, and we're off. Tab into edit mode. Let's move that one down with control. Snap it. A, scale X, uh, 8, and scale Y. We'll make it a bit uh, 3 lengthy here. Top view, control R. Let's get some loop cuts here. Get a little slice of an apartment going here. Just do some uh, random cuts here. Not too picky with uh, being exact or anything like that. So we'll section off a little uh, kitchen to the right here and a little toilet a little bit more narrow to the left so we'll make some walls for that as well let's control r do some loop cuts for windows and doorways and things like that so uh like this and a few here as well like that and a few there let's do some uh, shift selecting here of the faces uh, shift control select from there to there to there to there let's get some uh wall inner walls here as well going up so there we go uh, e to extrude, let's do one meter up and e to extrude two meters, e to extrude one meter again. And let's snap these into place, we'll switch this to vertex, e to extrude and snap these door weights. Like that, that's good. And then go alt z and let's get some windows here. Oh. There and there and then side view and then there. That's it, alt z to see through again, alt e to extrude along normals like this. That's good, control plus and get like a frame there, control minus, I to inset uh, for a window frame, uh, alt E, extra long normals, and then just color them blue to mimic uh, color there. Okay, uh, let's do uh, C to circle select the floor panels here, and to there, and then make that like a wood floor, so G, there, that's it. Let's make a shower cubicle here, so we'll split that one, E to extrude, or I to inset it first a little bit, E to extrude it up to maybe there. Uh, select these two, I to inset that. Alt E, extra long normals, uh, G, and uh, make it blue as well. Make a toilet here, I to inset that one. E to extrude, I to inset, scale, uh, Y axis, move it back. E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale it. <laughs> e to extrude, S to scale, you know the drill. E to extrude that on. Let's just make some uh, random toilet looking thing here. Make it a little bit wider there as well. For the, it's gonna be no lid on it. Popular amongst the ladies. Okay, let's actually L select uh, this whole thing. No, we won't. We'll make a shift space. We'll do a little sink here as well. Uh, e to extrude, we'll make that a little bit more simple. E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale. E to extrude and S to scale. And I to inset that on, E to drop it down. Okay, and let's do a little tap here as well. Posh wide ones a moment. E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude. Okay, uh, seven minutes. Uh, okay, I think that's the it for the bathroom. Let's make a kitchen as well. So we'll select a bunch of these here. Um, here. And uh, let's do right click and subdivide. And uh, do F3 checker deselect. Oh, F3. Checker deselect. There we go. And then do like a traditional kitchen style floor shift space. Duplicate that face there. Uh, move it into maybe there. Scale it there. Scale it up a little bit more, maybe. There we go. And let's make some kitchen units here. So we'll just do E to extrude that one about one meter or 0 0.9. Uh, sh then L select that one. Shift D. Let's duplicate it for some units here. Just randomly place these a little bit here. Uh, let's make a fridge here actually. Um, extrude this one or expand it up to there. Control R. Let's make this one a bit gray to break up the colors a bit. Uh, select this face here. Shift D. Scale it down. 
y-axis scale it scale it again and let's make some handles here e to extrude uh, l to select that one and g make it black shift d make another handle there okay let's do one more unit here shift space there that's it and let's make a like an overlaying kitchen counter here so s to scale that one s to scale y and to there s to scale y a little bit more Okay, E to extrude that on, and then let's do place for like a kitchen sink here, scale on the Y axis, uh, three I to inset that one, control R, let's move it to there, E to extrude that one, actually let's first do this one extrude down a bit, hello, E to extrude, nope, uh, five minutes to go, E to extrude, bring that one down, that's it, should we do a little tap here as well. A lot of extra geometry there just for a tap, but that'll have to be the case for now. Let's do some sort of a, like a cooker top here as well. It's one of them posh ones, the induction ones. So it's gonna be simple. Just make it black. And let's do an oven here. So I to insert that one. Just do a simple hatch here as well. Control plus to make it black. Stylish black and white here. Let's do that one for a handle. G silver. Let's do an English thing as well. For some reason, they always have a, uh, like a washing machine in the kitchen. So I don't know why that is, but scale. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Scale. E to extrude. I to inset. E to extrude and make it black. Okay, so four minutes to do some sort of a living room here. Uh, let's do a carpet first. Uh, so, or a rug. Uh, Shift E to duplicate that one. Scale it up. E to extrude. Control plus. So let's make a red carpet. And now let's do some furniture, shift D, make some legs here for things. Scale, scale, uh, X. And E to extrude that on, L to select it. Let's do bed legs here. So a G to move that on. Let's put a bed here. So we'll slide it into place there. L select that one, shift D, duplicate it to there. Let's do a couch here as well. And that's the legs for that one. Let's do a table. Actually, we can just... Uh, do this one, so we'll select these as well, L, L, Shift D, scale them down a bit, make a smaller table here. And how am I doing? 324 to go, okay, let's uh, get these ta oop. table legs extruded up a bit, or just moved in this case to maybe there. And let's make the couch, Shift D, move it into there, scale, and move it there, scale X. And, oh, my wife's PC is flipping out. It's overheating, I think, behind me. It's a really annoying. <laughs> Gee. Control R. Let's do uh, some. Uh, Control R, I said once only. Let's make some uh, cushion thing and things for this couch here. So E to extrude that on. Let's get rid of those armrests. Control R. Let's make some. It's a three seater, a narrow three seater couch here. Let's move it up. Let's make the bed here as well. We've got two minutes 40 to do. Bring that into place, scale, scale X, make a pink bed. Remember stereotypes, there's a woman living here, so it needs to be pink, otherwise it can't be habitable. Uh, e to extrude that one, oh, not a red one, pink. Control R, let's make it neat. And uh, E to extrude that one, make a pillow here, white. And let's get that color broken up to a darker color as well. Okay, um, now, how much am I doing? Two, two minutes, okay, let's make, oh, we need a tabletop here as well. I can't have it like that, can we? Uh, move it up, scale it. Some simple furniture going down here. Up, move. And E to extrude that on L. Let's make it, break up the colors a bit, some darker wood. Uh, 145, so let's make a TV cabinet here. So that'll be facing the back of this one, but it should be all right. L, scale. Uh, y to there. Let's put a TV on here as well. Uh, big uh, white screen here. Shift D, scale it down, make it black. E to extrude, uh, I to inset, E to extrude, E to extrude, scale it, scale it a lot on the X. It's going to be a bigger TV here. Extrude that on. Uh, I to inset that on and E to extrude it to there. So just make it blue as well. So one minute to go. Let's put a mirror here or something. Scale it down, uh, scale X. I can't do a painting because there's not enough time to do <laughs> fancy geometry like that, but we can do a, like a gold frame here. 
I to insert that one, E to extrude it, make another bluish color here. Let's make a little bedside table as well. L to select that one. Uh, L, 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 how am I doing for time? 47 seconds, scale it down, a little bedside table here. Uh, scale X, scale it up a bit. Let's put it on the ground, shall we? Okay, and we can probably do like a little windowsill here. And we've got 32 seconds, a little windowsill there as well. Let's put uh, something on here as well. Scale it, scale X, E to extrude, L to select it. Just put a pot there, 21 seconds. Uh, I to inset, E to extrude, control plus, and make a brown thing there. There, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale, control plus a lampshade. That's what it's gonna be. There we go, and we've got six seconds. Do you know what? I'm quite happy with that. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. We have, Time is up. All right. Whew. Not as panicked as last week, but it's nice to get these not so rushed ones at times as well. So let's have a look at what we managed to do in the time, in the 10 minutes. So we have a kitchen. Uh, it's got the oven or stove, whatever you call it, with a little cooker uh, tabletop here. It's got a sink with a faucet tap. Don't know what you call that one. Window, window, kitchen. Well, it is a kitchen, but it's a freezer and a fridge, some units and a washing machine. And the traditional checker floor. I don't know how many times I've seen that <laughs> when someone does their first renders and things like that. Got some window sills as well. Okay, let's move into the living room. Got a green couch. I'm a symmetrical fan. You know, my mind is so messed up that everything needs to be symmetrical. But for some reason, when I do the 10 minute builds, I can let go of that. So I'm okay with it not being perfectly symmetrical. And so should you be. I think uh, if you're if you're doing uh, stuff like for a ludum there or something like that, it's so easy to get uh, tied into the details and you sit and go, especially for stuff like me, I want it to be pixel perfect aligned and everything. But do you know what? Just put that aside. No one's really going to notice too much anyway, especially for a quick little prototypes or uh, jam games. So just challenge yourself. Try to not be perfect. Okay, so a uh, little table here, nothing on that one. We've got a TV, seems to be a bit of an older model. I was gonna do a big screen TV, but this is a fat, fat uh, <laughs> border on that one. I think they'll have to return that one, get a refund, maybe get some uh, more sleek model. Still, it's a little unit there anyway. Uh, red carpet, got a little bedside table, purple bed or pink bed, a little light here in the windowsill. And finally, let's move on into the bathroom. What have we got? A really odd toilet, it looks a bit like, um, a throne or something. I don't know what it looks like, but it is a toilet. You can uh, yeah, sit on that one. Here we've got uh, a little uh, shower cubicle and we've got a little uh, sink. Everything's little. So just a white floor for that one. And here's some sort of a wood floor. And we've got a mirror on the wall. Don't know. I think I caught everything there. So that's it. Sometimes it's just as simple as that. So uh, what should the tip be? And last time I did a big tutorial about uh, walk cycles. Oh yeah, so the tip this week is gonna be make use of duplicating the faces and create stuff out of that one. Pretty much everything of this was just created from uh, duplicating uh, faces. So shift D to, to separate it, right click to snap it back, S to scale it, and then just E to extrude it. S to scale and E to extrude. And then if you press L now for the selecting the linked vertices, you pretty much have, we're still in the same cube object here, the default cube, by the way. Everything that I've created in here, I can just select with L. These legs are individual, so every object that I created individually can be just L selected. And then you can do Shift L to deselect it. It's a lot faster to work like this than having individual objects all the time. And if you wanted to break it out to an object, like this TV, for example, you just do P and do selection. And there you go, you've got a new uh, object there. So if you wanted to split it out to object, you can do that later on. I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed this one. I did. <laughs> that was a quick one this Thursday. I'm looking forward to doing next one already. And I'm still going to be working on uh, the low poly racer game and some other tutorials. I've got some Unity stuff coming up. Uh, as I mentioned, the Rigify tutorial. And I want to do a, a really in-depth basic tutorial for uh, absolute Unity beginners. There are some really essential things I want to teach uh, or like let you know about that one. So uh, I'm hoping to set that, I've sort of roughed out that video and I'm gonna look forward to putting that together. So hope you liked this one, thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe and come back next Thursday and uh, yeah, have a great week until then. I'll see ya. <laughs>